This really smells good. Hey dudes! Welcome back to my channel! Today, sasamahan niyo ako na i-fill up ang aking bookshelf. As you can see, it's empty. Pubusan ko na ang aking storage box and isa-isahin natin yung mga libro ko. Ayan siya, guys. So, pubuksan natin siya isa-isa. Oh my god, what's this? Book of the Air? Hala, nakalimut ako may pangalan ng series. But anyway, yung Cruel Print series by Holly Black. I really love these books so much. This trilogy. This is a fantasy series with fairies and kings and queens, royalties and stuff. Hindi ko na-expect yung politics na meron dito sa libro na to. So, I really like that. And yung pagiging badass lang ni Jude, it's so... Amazing. Yung hindi ko lang part na nagustuhan at first is yung pagiging useless ni Cardan. Kasi since he's spoiled and medyo, yeah, he's cruel nga. Pero he's not really that good at doing anything else besides being charming and being cunning and being deceitful. Pero other than that, I don't think he's that skilled with combat. And in his defense, he doesn't really need to. But as time went on, mas na-appreciate ko siya kasi yung struggles niya and Mas na compliment nila sila ng dalawa ni Jude, mas na compliment nila each other that way. Kasi si Jude, she's well trained at almost anything. I love this series. Sobra. Since it's tall, hindi siya kasha. See? Kaya ilalagay natin siya sa pinakataas. So, we have The Greek Gods, Percy Jackson. I distinctly remember this book because this was the book I read when we got delayed sa Batangas Port. We were delayed for 12 hours. We had to stay there for 12 freaking hours. Hindi ako totally na bore and na inis kasi this book was my company, was my companion. If you're familiar with Edith Hamilton's version, that one's more formal. So if you want to familiar familiarize yourself with Greek mythology while having fun reading about it, read this one because this is told by Percy Jackson. It's more entertaining. I oh, enjoy it because it's Percy so he makes me laugh. It's really funny coming from his point of view. Next we have the Grishaverse. I wanted this in hardbound. Unfortunately, out of stock everywhere and ito na lang yung nakita ko na stock and I really 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 wanted to read it kaya I bought it na even though it's paperback. Yung talaga hellbent ako kasi basahin yung Six of Crows duology. Kaya hindi ako nagsisettle for the paperback. Talagang hinahanap ko yung hardbound and kapag nakita ko yung hardbound tsaka ako siya babasahin. For the meantime, I read the first book pa lang. I was about to read the second one kaso something happened kaya I wasn't able to Finish it, finish the series. I'm looking forward to finishing the series before the Netflix adaptation comes out. Kaya, I will definitely finish this first before I watch that. So, dito siya. Kasi, I remember na yung Percy Jackson series dito sila lahat. Or, mainly Rick Riordan books nandito. So, dito yung fantasy and sci fi. Mmm. Stephen King. This is my first Stephen King book. Napanood ko muna yung movie before I read the book. As soon as I watched it, Takto MIBF that time. Kaya ito yung, yung una una kong pinili. As you can see, hindi ko siya natapos kasi during that time, we were having this prank wars sa office. And my office mates were so lame at doing pranks on me kasi they couldn't beat me. The only thing that they could think of is to spoil me the ending of the book. And because of that, I stopped because it's like, ah, ruined na. Because the anticipation of what would happen was really thrilling. And when they told me what would happen or how they would defeat it, no, wala na yung ano, suspense. Kaya I stopped reading it muna. Pero I really love Stephen King kasi or hindi man really love kasi si Rick Riordan, nandun yung status ni Rick, Rick Riordan eh. It's more of admiration kasi the way he writes, yung writing style niya kasi it's very overwhelming in a good way. Yung descriptions niya sobrang chilling na it would feel as if you were there. Yung senses mo nag-overflow kasi lahat din describe niya yung environment, yung place, yung surroundings, yung feelings ng characters, yung weather. It's very all over the place, pero hindi siya kalat, kaya overwhelming, kaya it's overwhelming, pero it's really good. Okay, we have another Stephen King. This one ata, apat yung stories inside, and then dito yung Shawshank Redemption, the movie. 
hindi to siya somewhere. So, I didn't get around to reading it pa. I think wala pa ako dun sa mood na killers. Wala pa ako sa mood kay Stephen King. <laughs> Kasi nga, yung way ng writing style niya, wala pa ako dun sa mood. I think it depends. So, we have Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. Alam niyo yung yung time na pumasok kayo, pumunta kayo sa bookstore, pagkatapos, wala ka naman talagang balak bilhin na libro. Kasi gusto mo lang pumasok and amayin yung mga libro na bago and then tingnan kung ano yung mga new releases. Tapos wala ka naman talagang balak nila, nag-browse ka lang. And then, yun yung time na nangyari sa akin sa fully booked. So if bookworm cuts, if you're having a bad day, sa akin kasi pupunta lang ako sa bookstore and I would feel better. Tapos, nakita ko to sa shelf. Yung book cover niya is very striking. This is a trilogy, by the way. You've been warned. Nadadali ako parati sa mga trilogy na yan eh. Kasi ayokong mag-abang. Kasi ang hirap, hirap mag-abang. Eh, uso yun sa fantasy tsaka sa sci-fi stories na parati siyang series. Like, either three books or five books. Minsan seven books. Alam niyo yung sasabi ko. Ibasahin niyo to if you like. Which is na medyo primitive ish parang ibang mundo siya eh tapos primitive yung lifestyle nila pero may magic or forbidden magic tapos meron din dito like love versus duty and i really really like that medyo hindi ko na expect yung plot twist yeah yun firebird series i i forgot this is what i hate yung hindi hindi siya pantay pantay i know hindi siya pantay pantay this one's smaller okay so this series i really like this kasi it deals with parallel universes genuinely believe na meron parallel universe tapos parang meron time na yung sa isang parallel universe halimbawa what if yun nga yung sa yung life niya if her parents would have gone through the divorce and then there's another parallel universe na the world or humans didn't evolve as fast as we did, sort of, with technology. Kaya medyo medieval pa yung times dung sa parallel universe na yun. I think medyo sci-fi siya than fantasy. The thing is though, I haven't gotten around to finishing it. Yun yung talaga confession eh. Okay, we have The Trials of Apollo! So pwede ko na siya masahin since natapos ko na yung Heroes of Olympus. Finally, I love Apollo. Apollo is one of my favorite gods. Actually, no. Apollo is my favorite god. Greek god. Not because he's hot, but that plays a big part. <laughs> he's funny. He doesn't take anything seriously. He's most playful si Apollo, and obviously since I really love Percy Jackson, that's the character niya, and I love Leo Valdez. That means I like playful characters. I'm really excited to read this, and after finishing God of Olympus, I feel it to be unfair that he's punished. I'm gonna read this soon because I just want to read Starflight. And we have Magnus Chase. Apparently, as much as I love or like or intrigued by Norse mythology, I'm not as familiar with it as I thought. I say when I read this, I was really, really confused. Half the time, hindi ko alam yung sabi nila, and there were so many gods, I was so lost. So mag-aral mo na ako ng Norse mythology. I'm going to familiarize myself with uh, Norse mythology, and then I will read Magnus Chase again, and I think it would be more fun that way. And yeah, the Greek heroes told by Percy Jackson yet again. Someday, kapag may maayos na akong bookshelf and malaki, mas malaki bookshelf because this one couldn't take my books, I'm gonna buy that illustration version of the Greek gods and Greek heroes. Or for now, I'm gonna settle with this one. So who loves time traveling and secret societies? Because this trilogy have that. It's originally German, so translated long in English versions, yeah. Fun fact. Or actually, no. Or actually, yes. Because hey, there's a movie. It's a movie that starts. I have a reader friend, so a bad reader friend, who recommended Rubin Roth. That was the German title. So she told me to watch the movie. So I watched the movie and I loved it. Then she told me that based on the trilogy, siya, I was dying to read the trilogy and I did. I fell in love with the series. Actually, it's really good for the movies, by the way. Three movies din siya based on the books. Each book, each movie. So it's good for me. I'm just thinking about it. Because it's so hard to find online, by the way. As in. Anyway. 
Sasahin niyo siya kasi maganda talaga siya. Hindi siya ganun, hindi siya insta love from what I remember. Kaya dun sa mga may gusto ng slow burn, hindi rin siya slow burn. Sakto lang yung pacing ng love story. Yung time traveling and secret society is well written. Kaya hindi siya super predictable. Although kapag binasa mo siya straight, na medyo malilito ka sa timeline. When you look back, hindi mo alam kung which book is which. Kasi continuous lang siya. For this is really a worth a read. We have this the school for good and evil. I haven't gotten around to reading this. <laughs> Some of my books, ilalagay natin dito. Hindi ko pa nababasa. And this is one of them. So I really have nothing to say. I want to read this though. I mean, binili ko siya so. Someday, mababasa ko din siya. But Someday is not today. Mm. Given by Shanina, shout out another uh, Harry Potter collectible. Shout out to Ari Odd. Hi. Next is these broken stars. I love sci fi as much as I love fantasy, and even more is when it's about space. Okay, I love Star Wars. I am really intrigued with space and space travel and space travel stories. Kaya I like this because it's set in the future and the setting niya is in space. It's about this socialite girl na actually four POVs siya. Eh. Pero yung alala ko lang is yung socialite girl. She got in trouble with this guy na general. Pero he's 17. Kaya he's sort of famous sa mundo nila or dun sa yun yung galaxy or dun sa spaceship. Kasi he's really really young para maging general. And yun lang yung alala ko. And I think my for forbidden relationship dun sa isang dun sa other two POVs. Pero hindi ko siya ma-let go kasi naalala ko, nag-enjoy naman ako. I'm gonna read this someday again. 